you know, there's two different types of <coughs> configurations for ships, just general configurations for sails on ships. And that is the square rig ship and what's usually called a fore and aft rig ship. And there's a good reason for that, and that's what we're going to talk about today in today's house rule. So stick around during the intro. Please share, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned. All right, so you guys, you know, look at your look at your first rate, second rate, third rate, fifth rate models, brigs. You guys are looking at a square rig ship, okay? Look at your schooners and your sloops if you got them. Uh, your if when they come out, the Zebex. Those are fore and aft rig, generally speaking, uh, ships. And there's a reason for that, and it's reflected. It's not re reflected very well in the rule set at all. Okay, uh, under the basic weather or wind rules, uh, all ships come within this. Uh, they're they're sailing into the wind within this yellow, uh, 60 degree arc. Right. In the advanced or realistic wind rules, uh, which I personally love, that to me that's the way I think it should be played. As complicated as it is, I think it's 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 a better game. Uh, Everybody comes who comes within the red arc, which is basically 45 degrees into the wind. They're all in trouble. They're all going to go to anchor, right? Well, see, that's that's not really the truth. That's not how that's that's not the most realistic you could be. The whole reason for and after rig, rigging camp and lanteen sails are, are a thing is that it allowed the ships to actually sail closer to the wind than the square rigged ships. So. I have an idea. So my house rule, in fact I came up with this uh, a what I would call a more realistic wind rule, weather rule, wind rule. Uh, last year, uh, but in what, 2020, about in January basically. And I've been giving it a lot of thought. I haven't played it. Uh, I've been hesitant because I'm you know, debating, well, is this something that's like too detailed? Or is this? But I don't know. This actually, I think, because they're coming out with the models now, I think it does make a difference. So, here's my idea. I'm going to put a little graphic up. Um, using the advanced or realistic wind rules, there's one change I would make, and that is the sailing into the wind portion. For most ships, it's the red uh, turn angle. So, within 45 degrees of the wind. You are going to be sailing into the wind, and you have to make your tacking check, or go to anchored, or take damage if you blow it. But if you are a fore and aft rig ship, and I'll talk about the, the list of those in a little bit, um, you can get away with going a little closer to the wind. So you get to use the yellow 60 degree arc. So basically, instead of with it being within 45 degrees of, of the wind, you can get within 30 degrees of the wind without having to worry about sailing into the wind, going to anchor, or having to tack, and, or take damage. And that's more realistic. And it also sets up those scenarios where you have the two different styles of sh uh, sailing ships engaging each other. One of them is a little bit more nimble and can potentially use the wind as an advantage. That, and I think, that's, I think that's more appropriate. So, which ships are we talking about here? Basically, if you take a look at the pictures of the ships in the actual rule book, I should have said silhouettes in the rule book. It's on page 60 and 61. I think you have a pretty good, uh, you can kind of tell which ones are which. So I've got the, um, here, let's take a look at the, I'm going to go ahead and put the, the images the silhouettes up on the, the screen now, we'll talk them through. All right, so the the ones that actually were designed to take this into, into account are obviously, you know, stuff like the sloop and the schooner, okay? Uh, the cutter is another example. When you look at the way the cannon sloop is rigged, now again, I don't know if there's, there's no model for it yet, but if the cannon sloop, sloop comes out, that's probably more of a, that might be a tiny shot, I don't know, we're going to see what, if Warlord brings this out, but a cannon sloop would also qualify. Now, look at the, here's the bark and the brigantine. Both of them, you'll notice the last sail, 
are actually fore and aft compared to the rest. And so they actually were designed that way to take advantage of this ability to sail more closely to the wind. In my expectation here, I would think the bark would be a little less able to do that because it only has one mast like that. But the brigantine, that's, that's why it was designed that way. It was kind of the best of both worlds. You had the efficiency and uh, the, the huge sails in a square rig, but you also had the ability to get closer to the wind with that uh, fore and aft rig rear mast. Uh, so that makes perfect sense. Um, <clears throat> galleys were lanteen sails, and so were really the Zbex. And those are coming out probably as, as this uh, video is, is going up. Those are perfect. Those, those can use this without using the oars. They can sail in the wind up to that yellow arc. I think that makes perfect sense. That's how they're designed. Um, you'll notice also there's a couple other images: the the gun yawl and the uh, lugger, and the schooner, obviously the sloop. Those would be the kind of ships that I would expect to be able to use this type of uh, rule. So think about it when you've got a combat between a sloop or schooner and a brig, okay? So two different sail philosophies here. And they're trying to play against the windy, obviously, you have to try to get an advantage. But what the sloop can do is head closer to the wind and escape the brig. The brig can't do that. Uh, so that is actually an element. And in Smuggler's Run, I think that's really adds a whole nother layer to the tactical possibilities in that game. So that, that may be a rule that we do here in our particular uh, campaign. We do Smuggler's Run. So, all right, so that's my, what I call more realistic wind rules for uh, fore and aft rigged or uh, lanteen rigged ships. So kind of comment below, what do you guys think? Uh, again, just discuss pros, cons, ideas because what we want to do as a community is just enhance the game we've got because this is a, a blast to play. Alright, so thanks a lot for sticking around. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.